So half of the time I am chilling on Pinterest, scrolling for no reason and I keep on seeing these really cute tutorials for digital art and I keep on saving them. This time around I actually decided to give these a try to see if they actually work. You know what? They don't. I'm just kidding. I want you to see it for yourself. So I picked up these tutorials as they looked real easy, not to mention really really cute and I also wanted the exact same outcome. So I'm going to start with this one first. And the first step is the layout. This is supposed to be the easiest step. Still, I struggled a little to get the circles right. So once you're done with that, what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to draw the nose kind of shape over that circly layout. And I was still pretty confused at it was not clearly mentioned in the tutorial as to how I'm supposed to actually draw the nose shape. Should I follow the circle? Should I um, go around the circle? It was just not clear. So I was confused, but I still went ahead with my intuition. Next step is base color for the outlines. I picked up the maroon color, enabled alpha lock and changed the color of the outlines. Next step was to change the layer mode to multiply and start adding shadows. I actually picked up the similar colors from the tutorial. I actually placed the shadows on the exact areas where I actually see it on the tutorial even though again it was a little confusing and even though I'm using the similar colors as in the tutorial my colors actually look quite off the next step is soft shadows again I just look at the picture and I actually placed all the shadows where I actually see it on the tutorial next step was hard shadows again I picked up the color from the palette provided on the tutorial and I started adding hard shadows basically shadows where you're not supposed to blend much so the next step was to change the layer mode to screen and pick up the color provided on the palette on the tutorial and start adding color but I was confused Abby. when I started painting the color it appeared light and in the tutorial nowhere I can see any sort of highlight in this step. So after this step I was really confused so I just highlighted the nose and I just and I was just done with it and it doesn't look anything like the nose in the tutorial so it just didn't work out that well for me. Next is this cute cloud tutorial. I started by creating these little circles with this bluish kind of color and as shown in the tutorial I used this pink color to differentiate between all the circles and I suppose these circles are guides. So I started creating these little guide circles in a separate layer. So once you're done with it you are supposed to add this white color in this manner. So I started adding this white color in the similar manner at this point the tutorial seemed really easy really easy to follow and those pink guys actually did help so here I don't know if you are supposed to blend or what because here in this tutorial the next step is actually the final outcome so I just decided to blend that white color out then I also added some blue color around that white color just to add back that blue which we lost because of the white color so all in all, this tutorial turned out pretty good. I really liked it, even though some steps were missing. But the whole point of these tutorials are to kind of guide you and not exactly give you the steps. But still, this tutorial is way better as compared to the previous one. So the last one is this quick little lip tutorial and this involves two to three steps and in two to three steps you're gonna have luscious lips. Here the first step is to actually draw the lines, the mouth lines, the cupid bows and a basic outline for the lips. The next step was to actually blend these outlines out nicely and properly. Once you have these nicely blended outlines, what you're supposed to do, you are supposed to add this color, the lip color that you wish to add and add it in a circular way. Then you are going to have to pick up your blending tool and blend it all out in a way where you're actually filling out the whole lip like this. And the last step was to change the layer mode to add and I'm using the same color and I'm adding highlights onto the lips and just look at the final result. It's so good. And this is the only tutorial that was so on point and that actually gave me the actual outcome that she had in the video. So all in all, I feel video tutorials are quite easy to follow and they actually give you the true exact outcome. Not to say that static tutorials that we tried, especially the first one was not that clear and hence I was not really able to achieve the final outcome. I feel some steps were missing. Again, when you're following a tutorial, you cannot follow it step by step. You have to add your intuition. But the whole point of today's video was to actually see if these tutorials work. And the last one 
did work so yes i really enjoyed creating these i really enjoyed trying these out i would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and find some tutorials like this and give it a try yourself i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video